What's up guys, welcome back to Static Garage. Today, we're gonna be starting off by going for a little drive. We're gonna get some footage of how fast this car revs, and that's because we're gonna be installing something. We're going to be installing something that is supposed to free up some power and should technically rev faster. So we're gonna be getting some before and after shots of the revs and we're just gonna do we're just gonna go to a spot that doesn't have a lot of cars so we can just fully rev out my horn <laughs> just... shit that already revs fast it does rev kind of fast keep in mind that we do have a lightweight flywheel so, so it is revving a little faster than normal this is probably the worst part about owning this racy c is you have to get out I don't know what the fuck that was. That was my arm, but you need to fix that. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> God damn, even with these seats, <laughs> still a challenge. But these are these are actually comparable to the FRSs because when I'm working on the FRSs and the A6s at work, it's literally just as hard to get out. So what I'm telling you is you're just like an FRS. Except a lot faster. All right, so what did we get today, Martin? Unorthodox racing, uh, they call the... You are. You're. You're. The your pulleys. Your pulleys. Because your pulleys, right? You're replacing your pulleys with your pulleys. Technically, he's got a point. So we are replacing the pulleys. I guess we have a tiny little baby one here. <laughs> and the only one that it lines up to is alternator. To the alternator pretty Has much. to be. Because this shit's tiny as hell. Hey. And this one, I think it goes to the water pump. Correct me if I'm wrong. We'll figure it out. I think we. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Think about it. There's four holes right here. Water pump shit. Think Water about pump. it. And then I opened the big one because um I have bigger things than you. That's the biggest head up there. Respect. Let's see. No, no fuck. Just make a deal with my hand. No, I'm independent. Respect. Fuck. Sick ass food. This thing. I would say this is about like three pounds. To less. No. It has to be way less, dude. I can hold it with a finger. This is like two pounds. What, what do you think? No idea. We'll Google it right now. We are going to be replacing the old factory heavy ass pulleys with some lighter ones. And this is probably gonna be a really controversial video, even with us, because one, the crankshaft has a harmonic balancer. It's going to change things, and there's gonna be different vibrations, different harmonics, and different frequencies, and we don't know if that's going to necessarily affect it, because obviously there's two sides to the debate. There's, it doesn't do anything, or it does, and it fucks shit up. Rotational mass is a lot different from unsprung mass, meaning I can add 100 pounds to this car, and that's pretty much gonna be the same weight as if I just added 20 pounds to either pulleys, wheels, or the drive shaft, or anything that's rotating to make the car move. If we technically got wheels that were 20 pounds lighter total, then that would average about like 100 pounds. I don't know the full you know, formula for it, but that's pretty much the estimate that people use. I respect that. So if we're gonna be replacing these, which obviously turn all the bouts this is obviously gonna free up some power no this does not add power it's not a power adder like a turbo but it frees it up meaning you're gonna be able to use more of the power so technically it's like an it, it can be faster it's like an intake it just frees up power <laughs> same thing so it's like a turbo it just frees up the power that the motor could have had and that is why i even told martin we should probably get a lightweight drive shaft if you're gonna be na or even boosted later on the road because with the lighter drive shaft that's a big portion of the rotating mass that has to go all the way to your rear wheels and those are heavy and i know the z's you guys said that the z's have carbon composite drive shafts but it's still really heavy and that's what people don't understand is even with the aluminum one which is supposed to be heavier than carbon it's still going to cut the weight in half so that goes to show you that they only did it for rigidity not really for light weight I don't even remember if we talked about how 
part of the suspension is bent and that's the camber arms or the, the spot that the camber arms go to. This car was obviously in a rear end accident so I had the salvage title and those pieces are just, they're not even straight anymore, let's just put it that way, it's like a V shape. And we didn't even know that and luckily it didn't really affect the camber too much but I told him he definitely needs to get these true heart camber arms to complete the rear end setup because one, it's gonna get rid of the fucked up suspension and two, we're gonna be able to get rid of all that camber so we can plant way better. The first one I'm going to be removing is going to be this water pump one which is held on by literally four screws. So it's not gonna be too hard and I'm just, just, where's my 10? Where's my 10, Martin? You could have probably loosened it with the belt on there. It would have probably been easier, but we're using vice grips. Vice grip. Check it out. Pretty much just put it on here. It's just gotta get a good angle. Yeah, I put the vice grips on the opposite way. What are you talking about? I did it on purpose, I go hold it like that. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> yeah, so you can bring your hand on them. Uh. Right there. <laughs> there you go, bitch. <laughs> okay, it just slides on, which is really good. There you go. Oh, you can feel the difference, actually. Like a big difference, or? About half the weight. Before we attempt the alternator one, because that one we have no leverage on, we're gonna be trying to do the hardest one, which is the crank, because once we get that off, then we could take our time trying to remove the alternator like we did before, and then just taking off the pulley. The crank nut is a 19, so that one's gonna be, I guess, easy to fit in there, especially since we have no fan now. I'm gonna put it in six gear and hold the brakes really, really hard and Static Dad and Static Warren are gonna hold hands and pull this thing off because that's the only way to do it. Because he can't, Martin can't do it alone. And I told him from the start this is gonna be a bitch to do and it's not budging. So definitely gonna have to do it that way. You ready? Yeah. Go ahead. He's strong. He broke it loose? Yeah. Damn, so Static Dad was able to get it out like nothing, huh? Strong. <laughs> but Pho didn't right? even turn it like without any force. But there is oil residue right there. So we're gonna most likely have to replace the front crankshaft seal, which I heard isn't too hard. Normally people replace it when they're taking off the pulley. But I recommend putting just like that, the oil bucket under there just to hold it. Um, but I mean, I guess that was the hardest thing to do. And now the even hard, possibly, ah, if it was, if it broke loose that easy, I'm sure you could get the pulley off, but the pulley's gonna be kind of a bitch to get off too. Maybe we'll see. Cause it might be seized on there. What's up, Eden? How's the prelude, bro? All the VTEX. Fuck. All right, so we're gonna be removing it. Martin's gonna have a pipe on the bottom. We're just gonna be wiggling it down. Ooh. Sick ass fool. Oh, it's like Sick ass oil. Sick ass oil coming out everywhere. Sick ass Dude, front crate heavy. Oh, fuck, fuck. Compared to the- Fuck. Aftermarket. Ah! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this looks crazy. Oh, like, I get it? I used it, all my strength. <laughs> this is nuts, bro. <laughs> this is nuts how like huge weight this thing is. So I ended up renting the stupid little tool over here. I didn't really need it. So I'm just gonna return it. Look at the camera guy today. How much was it? Like 20 bucks? Yeah. So to pull out the front crankshaft sealer. Pretty much, I just got a flathead and just spray it out. That's all it took. It was really easy. For the new one, pretty much just press it back in by hand. So we do have to pull the alternator, and I just replaced it like two weeks ago. All right, so to take off the alternator pulley, it is a 24 millimeter. Got it. It is different, it's probably about half of the weight. Okay, so now we're gonna be doing the rear arms. Because um, Daniel said not to put everything together until he gets here, I guess. So this is what they should look like, you know, straight. And this is what fucking Martins look like. You guys can see that. Like a straight up fucking... Yeah, that's a bend. It's not supposed to be there. Alright, so this is the fucking bend we were talking to you guys about. I'm gonna make you feel Martin. Terrible. It's supposed to be straight. It's not supposed to have that bend. And since I don't want camber at all, I'm getting a rear alignment tomorrow, just the rear for now. So we're pretty much gonna just line these up. Hopefully eyeball it. And it's not too bad until tomorrow, you said? Yeah, tomorrow. I mean. Boom. It's done. 
Okay, so we didn't record this side, but pretty much the same exact shit, except we got it done like half the time. Um, well, it took like 20 minutes on the other side and like 10 minutes on this side. Uh, so uh, both arms are in. I mean, this side was bent too. Not as bad. Okay, so now that we finished uh, fucking Martin shit until Mar or Danny gets back, I'm um, gonna start fucking sanding my lip that I got. It's the exact same color code, but you never know. Um, so yeah, we got two cans of paint. Um, Danny told me to buy this clear on eBay. It's supposed to be really good, I guess. What's up, guys? I'm back. And better than ever after going to um, Valencia. If you guys don't know where that's at, it's hell. It's 102 degrees out there. Six Flags Magic Mountain. Yeah, fuck that place. Anyways. I know my son, my son <laughs> we were riding with the top down in the Miata and look. Because there's no AC? You can barely tell on the camera, but it's so bad. She got all sunburned. But now, they patiently waited for me so we can install these lightweight pulleys. Stephanie, try picking this one up and then try picking that one up after. Like everything together. And tell me what the difference is, how you feel. Okay. God damn, this is like so light. It's not gonna break. Okay, so we're painting right now. Um, I only sanded it down real quick. I didn't do the bondo thing like I said I was. Um, so we put the primer on. And now we're kind of just sanding it with the paint. It looks matte right now, but we haven't even put clear on, obviously, so. Now that he has the crank pulley in, he did have to sand it down a little bit, which honestly I don't recommend. I don't even know if we should recommend pulley, so even if you're watching this video, wait till we give you guys an update because this is very risky. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can mess things up, especially that key on the crankshaft. If you, didn't, you don't put it on right, you can bend it, you can actually warp it or smudge it back and you don't want any clearance issues. So right now we're gonna be tightening the bolt down with a torque stick to 35 foot pounds they say and then 60 degrees of rotation. So pretty much we're gonna get it to the torque spec. I'm gonna zero this out to the zero degrees right here. And then once I keep turning it, it's gonna go all the way to 60 degrees. And I guess that should theoretically be at 140 foot pounds. I don't know if that's true, but we're gonna be um, checking because a lot of sources say either do it to 140 or do it to 35 to 46 and then hit it with the 60 degrees so i'm kind of scared so i'm probably gonna let chavez do it this is how you check if you put your pulley in right sick, sick ass, ass pull, dog. is it perfect oh, what's up chavez these are fucking sick dude you like hey, them hey. you never in the videos anymore i need some ricardo's you know what you need? Some sparkles. So, Ricardo's. Here we go. It's, it's red. It's, it smells like it's fucking burning it. Okay, so right now, the only thing that we're looking at is that it's squeaking really bad and it's smelling really burned. So obviously, either might not be aligned or it's not tight enough. So we're just gonna have to tighten it a little harder and then turn it back on. Perfect. No play? Nope. That's a perfect pulley. Do I have a little bit? Be careful, guys. Still in cold start, so. So far, it feels the same. Yeah, no big difference. Okay. Maybe the pulleys weren't worth the, um, <laughs> the risk. <laughs> but we'll see. I mean, at the end of the day, like we're still learning. Oh, that felt a little. That was barely like a quarter. At like 2k. Honestly, I have no idea because I've never revved the car just in neutral with this car for some reason. I've never really oh, fucked yeah. with the car, so it's kind of hard for me to tell. We'd have to well, go back to the video and actually go side by side and compare. Well, let's let's do a first gear or second gear pull and see if the torque is there. 2500, about 15-ish. Torque difference. Now I felt a little bit. 
<laughs> it's kind of like an intake or something small. Is <laughs> we're gonna grab the visors, but there's none. I'm just glad the car didn't blow up. There wasn't any weird vibrations. There's nothing. It spins straight. Everything's good for the most part. Look at that lip, bro. I mean. For spray cans and for using the paint that we had, the primer that we had, and the clear. I feel like the clear was the best branded one. Right. The paint that we used was supposed to replace literally OEM paint and spray cans. So you can see it doesn't look bad. Obviously there is a lot of orange peel that we can water sand, but he doesn't want to water sand. He doesn't want to deal with any of that. And you can see the difference. Look at how dull his paint looks compared to how vibrant the newly painted lip is. And honestly, that this is his daily, this is his street car. It matches way better than I even expected. I didn't even know it was gonna come out this good. There is some spots that's fading and that's soaking in due to the primer because he didn't want to listen to me and he got some Rustoleum primer instead of Duplicolor primer. Uh, now we know. Ah, ah, right. $100 later. Ah. I gotta admit, I've been falling in love with this car more and more every time I look at it, especially with everything that we've been slowly doing to it. She looks so good. The coilovers are settling a little more and I've just been full sending on this drive height. Looks perfect. What are you doing? Putting my top up. Nice. Anything coming for the Miata rain? Soon? Maybe next video? Maybe. Budget interior build? What? Another interior video? What? Is it windy? Yes. <laughs> and on top of everything, we also have some E46 content for Static Dad's build. Maybe if you guys want it bad enough, make sure to comment down below. We'll give you guys a coilover install, some new wheels, and some other little tiny things that we're gonna be doing because this car is gonna be more of an OEM plus build. And it's gonna try, we're gonna try to make it even nicer than it already is and just make it look so simple. It's already pretty late in the day, so this is where we're gonna end off today a lot more coming especially for the jeep because we're trying to get that thing so ready for the tune and we're going to be driving it out two hours away and we do have a couple of things that we're going to be doing off screen and behind the scenes we'll be making sure to keep you guys updated on that on our instagram page static garage underscore usa so make sure to check out all of our builds there we just refreshed the whole page, so there's probably like around like 10 pictures that we've uploaded so far, but we're getting there. And make sure to follow us on Instagram, follow the whole team if you guys want. Our links are gonna be down below in the description. <sighs> so much things coming. It's gonna be time for Stephanie and Martin to keep going and pushing the I've channel. Been pushing. Channel the forward for a little bit. I need to slow down. I respect you, fool. Okay, she's stupid. But on that note, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you guys on the next one.